In Revelation chapter 12, verse 11, uh, the Bible tells us that they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and that they loved not their lives even to the death. And so our testimony is, is powerful, you know, how God has uh, touched us and shown us who he is and revealed his son to us. It's powerful. And so this morning we have uh, a couple of testimonies. I don't know who they are. It's a mystery. Is it you? No. <laughs> okay. Could be. Um, anyway, uh, who's first? Ella? <laughs> Come on, Ella. Come on, Ella. You can do this. All right, Ella. name is this working oh hello um so before i came out to surfing the nations i was just praying a lot about my family because i come from a family of all non-believers so none of them love the lord um so that's made it really hard in my faith just to follow the lord obediently and i was kind of hitting a low point of just like praying for them for years and years and years and seeing no change and i remember coming to s10 being like okay God, like, I need you to start moving stuff, and I think, I want to say it was the second Surfer's Church, which is something that we do on Saturday nights at STN. If you're ever at STN, you should go. It's pretty cool. Um, but at the second Surfer's Church, I remember I saw two pictures from the Lord, and just after a lot of prayer, I realized that they were about my family. So the first one was me standing in a field. I think it was in Africa or something. And all these roots started wrapping around me, and I became a tree. And I remember, like, seeing that picture in my mind being like, what does that mean? Like, God, what are you trying to say? And so the night kept going. We continued to worship. And, um, yeah, after a couple of songs, I saw that same tree again. It was me entangled in all these roots. And um, then I saw Jesus holding my hand, who was holding my brother's hand, who was holding my mom's hand, who was holding my dad's hand, all leading us to the cross. Um, and then as soon as they walked past the cross, they turned into animals. <laughs> this sounds so crazy saying it out loud. <laughs> um, so after they, Jesus would lead them to the cross, and then when they got to the tree, they all became animals and kind of fed off the tree. So um, that was really encouraging just to receive that from God. I see God a lot through visions and through dreams, so that was really cool. Um, and although I'm not home right now to be with my family, I think, I think, yeah, that really encouraged me just to keep praying for them and keep fasting for them because I know ultimately God does have a plan for their lives, and I think it might take years, it might take days, but I think um, God is good in all of it, and I think He's going to really move, and I'm really excited to go home now and, like, share that with them and share just, yeah, all the things that have happened and um, all the cool things that he's been doing. So that's kind of my story. God's done a lot of other stuff, and Lauren's going to share more about that. <laughs> Ella, right? Ella, 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 so I'm just curious, you know, like, how did it happen that you became a believer and no one else in your family did? Um, so my parents actually split up when I was two. So I come from a broken family. My dad married a woman who's now my stepmom in 2013, and she's the only Christian in our family. So she kind of led me to the Lord. And then um, our family friends as well are Christians, and so they would bring me to, like, church events when I was younger. But, no. Yeah. Hold on. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you, Father, for Ella. We thank you, Father, that uh, you handpicked her, Lord, uh, as a young girl to follow you and she has a burden for her family uh, we lift her up we lift her family up to you we pray father that that uh, you would indeed move in their spirits and and soften their spirits their hearts to your holy spirit father and that you would draw them god and that they would indeed uh, receive the truth and and receive christ as their savior lord we we stand with ella in, in praying for her family. In Jesus' name. 